number has been leaked on that water gummy water melons video there we go so it has leaked one of my mods phone numbers and that is very unfair but it's not my number that's been leaked please don't guys I don't know, Kay. I don't know who that person is who's leaked it. But I've just asked one of my mods now to warn them that it's been leaked. Because, like I said, my number has been cancelled. So anybody who's got my old number, who's trying to phone my old number, good luck to them, because that hasn't been in, a in action for several months. Thanks, Pitta. Pitta, I'm going to go through those photos now again carefully and check that there's no others because as much as I don't like most of the older mods for what they've done to me, there is no way I want any of them doxxed like people are doing, trying to do to me. There's no way I want that done. So I'm going to go through those photos very carefully and look at them. There's no phone number in the first or second pictures. nor in the fourth picture, nor in the fifth, nor in the sixth, nor in the seventh. Gaia, thank you. I am going to go to the messages now. I'm assuming you've messaged me on TikTok. Have you messaged me on TikTok? Because I can't see a message from you there yet. Yes, I have. I've got it. Yeah, that's the message that's still there. That's the number that's still there. That's fine. That's the number that is still there. Okay. I I know who that number belong, belonged belongs or belonged. I don't know if it still works. Um uh, yeah. Thank you, Gaia. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Thank you. So, I haven't docked somebody. One of my ex mods has docked one of my other ex do doc doxed one of my other ex mods that's hilarious right i am going sub only guys now this is sub only chat you do not have to uh subscribe you can if you want to um but basically i'm tired i want to put the bullying and everything tonight behind me um and sub chat only there we go it is now sub chat only and will be a lot more relaxing <sighs>
one heart me and thank you very much smiley face thank you what's your what can i call you smiley face i can't keep calling you smiley face the man from down under i'm gonna call you good day mate <laughs> hello good day mate <laughs> or should i just call you aussie man which would you fur re re which would you rather i called you good day mate or aussie man because it says the man from down under so i'm assuming you're a man which would you prefer? Pan Dragon, thank you for the heart me. Second winning, thank you for the heart me. Lisa, thank you. Um, Ali, thank you for subscribing. Thank you, Ali. That's really nice of you. James, good evening to you, James. Very, very welcome. Are you in Australia or are you in New Zealand? Because they're both down under. I'm assuming it's Australia, but it could be New Zealand. Lucy, thank you for subscribing. Thank you, Lucy. Um, Zara, thank you very much for subscribing as well. Thank you. Don, thank you for subscribing. Thank you. Guys, you really don't have to subscribe. Like I said, you can all watch. So I really appreciate you guys subscribing. Thank you. Yeah, you should now change it to the man from Northern Ireland. <laughs> oh, I can breathe and try and relax. So thank you, everybody. Oh, look, I'm on the B1 popular at number 93. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious it's just gone midnight i'm on the popular Woohoo! <laughs> al i'll say this to you i'll say this to you al um by the way guys while you're subscribed if i miss your comments in sub only chat tell me off because I shouldn't miss comments in sub-only chat when it's this calm and quiet. Um, Al, I promise you, I am not going to let them beat me. I have fought this far for the last 16 months against all the hate and the bullying. I have fought against it for the last 16 months and I'm not going to stop fighting it now. I am not going to stop fighting it now, I guarantee you. But I am going to continue trying to set the record straight. That I will continue trying to do. Because not only are they bullying me because of jealousy. 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 KLP, right. Is it right, LP? Um, I know you can't do nothing and that, I know that, but I hope you understand where I'm coming from. I don't quite understand where you're coming from, LP, but this is why we can talk about it. Um, what I want to ask you is a different sort of question. When people are coming at me, thank you for the flutter by Pitta. Um, could you hold on with any, any other questions? Because I'm still trying to reply to LP. Um, with the mod, with sub, sub chat only, I can more easily ask you to hold the questions and then come back to you. All right. So if you can bear with me for a minute. G23, thank you for the roses. And Jody, thank you for the roses. Um, so LP. I do react. Yes, I do. I'm not going to disagree with reacting. I'm not going to not, not disagree. I'm not going to say I don't react because I do. I know I do. I, up here, am trying to understand myself a bit more. I'm not going to lie, I am. 
I've had a lot of interesting conversations recently, nothing to do with the app, about various different things. And I'm, try I'm starting to understand myself a bit more. And I am wired up here in a way that my brain really does hear negative over positive. And that's not a good thing. It really isn't a good thing when you hear negative louder than positive. And as a result of that, I react and I react badly to some things. I will be the first person to acknowledge that. I will. And do I react more than I should? Yes, I do. But I feel I have to defend myself. Does that make sense? I feel that by having to defend myself, that also means when people are criticising me, um, I, have to, I feel like I have to defend myself. So when um, I can't alley, that's the thing. I'm trying to ignore it and I'm doing my best to ignore it when people try to wind me up. And I, because my brain says I've got to defend myself. Um, LP, I hear you, I do. My brain doesn't hear that. My brain... I'm trying to explain to people what I mean. My brain can't get that through. So when I'm trying to defend myself, my brain wants to defend myself. There's a barrier there that my brain is going like this against. I must defend myself. I must defend. I must defend. I must defend. Does that make sense? This is my brain, this hand here. This is my brain and it's there. It's not letting the comments just wash past. It's defending what I should be doing is letting the comments do that and just go over the top of me. But I'm defending the comments. I don't care if screen recorders are screen, re screen recording me being honest. I don't care if screen recorders are screen recording me. I'm expecting it. I've got nearly a thousand people in the room still, over 900. I'm expecting screen recorders to be recording me. Doesn't bother me. Right, I'm going to try and answer one question at a time, guys. So again, can I ask you to bear with me? Lucy, L-X-C-Y, that Lucy, what are you trying to ask? Because I haven't understood what you said there. But further up, because none of your comments came through, so I don't know if you were using a banned word. I saw you were trying to talk about mental health have you dealt with mental health personally it depends what you mean by mental health lucy because we all deal with mental health in one way or another i have really bad anxiety that comes out in multiple ways so yes i do deal with mental health personally yes no i have never been clinically depressed um i do not have depression I have never been clinically depressed. I find talking about it really helps. I've got my PA. Now, when I say I'm my PA knows everything about me, she literally knows everything about me. Everything. Because she is the person I talk to the most about all my thoughts and feelings. That's one of the things she helps me with. She helps me sort out my thoughts she helps me talk through my feelings she helps me understand things um when i need to talk about something and i can talk about her talk talk about her talk with her about anything i want to and she's open to that she lets me and as a result of me talking to her about everything she's helped me really understand stuff more And she also can talk to me about stuff. We've got a really, really good level of friendship. 
Lucy, does that answer your question? That's L-X-C-Y, not Lucy, Lucy. Yes, Lucy, I'll check your, I'll check your message now, Lucy. I think Lucy X, if it's okay with you, because there's two Lucys in the chat, if it's okay with you, Lucy, I'm going to call you Lucy X and the other one straight Lucy. I hope that's okay, because otherwise you're not going to know which of you I'm talking to. So, LXCY, I'm going to call you Lucy X. If you're offended by that, please tell me. Because um, then I'm not confusing the two. And it calms my brain down as well. Thank you, Lucy X. Right, Lucy, I'm looking for your message. So please bear with me. I've got you, Lucy. Yes, I found you. Lucy J, aren't you? I'm just checking that's the right one. Yes. All right, I've got your message here. Oh, thank you, Lucy. It's not really a question. It's more a message. Thank you very much, Lucy. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Right. I'm not reading all the other messages. This, 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 this is sub chat. So this is subscriber time. So I've got lots of you who are in here who would like to ask the next question. Oh, I know Lara Rish asked what chicken I had. So, Lara, um, I had another Lucy. Okay, no, I didn't have another Lucy for my dinner. Right, Lucy, the one who's just come in, I'm going to call you Lucy I, because you're not, you're not, you're an I rather than a Y. So, I'm going to refer to you as Lucy I, okay? I hope that's okay with you as well. It different, different, def differentiates between the three of you. So, um, hold on, turn requests off. Right, going back to Lara Rish's question, what type of chicken did I have? So one of the things I really like doing when I can cope with it is doing some stir fry chicken. And what I do is I put some olive oil in a pan and a big spoonful of garlic big spoonful of garlic now i use something you can get in all the supermarkets called lazy garlic um it's the really fine chopped garlic in a glass jar and i use that and it's so good um i cook the garlic for a minute and stir it around in the olive oil to to, 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 to release the flavor and then I add the chopped chicken. Now I buy pre-chopped chicken. I buy diced chicken from Tesco's and I chop it up a bit more because I then add, um, I've got it here. I add this garlic sauce from Heinz garlic sauce I used to use a mint and herb sauce but I now use this Turkish style Heinz garlic sauce really really nice um I let it cool down and then I make chicken wraps with salad um yeah, I really enjoy it. That's what I make. I used to make... I used to... <laughs> it's a summer food for me. I eat a lot of chicken salad stuff in the summer. Don't eat as much in... Why is the garlic sauce by my chair? Because when I was eating my dinner, Pitta, there's the remains of the wraps. The salad bag is on the floor and the plate is still up there. Um, so yeah, what's my favorite food? Chicken, Lucy X. 
my favourite food pretty much is chicken. I eat chicken all the time. And Luna enjoys the wraps as well and the salad. So Luna is in the cage at the moment. She was here earlier, as you saw. Um, but she's in her cage and she this evening has had um, two spinach leaves and a big piece of a wrap. I don't like Indian food, Don, no. The closest I would get to an Indian is... What's the really, really creamy sauce? Is that the korma? Lara, thank you for saying that. You've been struggling with your mental health and I've helped. You know what, Lara? Sending you a huge hug. Sending you a huge hug. So yeah, a korma is about as strong as I would go. Sarah, thank you for the heart me. Right, who's next? Who'd like to ask a next question? Uh, Lucy, I don't do room tours. Sean, yes, okay. As you're here and chatting, I mean, I don't want to just look at lots and lots of random messages, Sean. Uh, where did you message me on TikTok again? Let me just close the app and reopen it on my phone so that I can reload the messages. Sean, I can't see a message from you on TikTok. I genuinely can't see a message from you, Sean. Oh, you sent it on Sunday. Okay, hold on a minute. Um... Sean, can you send another one? I've got hundreds of messages in my inbox, Sean. Can you send another one? Because that will bring it to the front. How many days ago was Sunday? Is that four days ago? Three days ago, four days ago, something like that. All oh, the foxes are out. Don't know if you guys can hear that. Foxes outside barking. Get a lot of foxes around here. Yeah, 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 yeah. like that you're trying to make a pumpkin okay how do your family cope with the stuff you get from tiktok um right can you do me a favor everybody slow down with the comments please that would be great how do my family cope with it ali that's a good question my parents are not coping well with the hate I get. That's me being honest. I know I've got over 900 people watching, but I'm still going to be honest. You think I'm upset? My mum has been losing sleep. My mum has been very, very worried about me because of all the problems I've been having. They know how bad it's been affecting my health, how badly, sorry, it's been affecting my health. When I was pushed to the edge, my family knew the second time it happened. They didn't know the first time. They knew the second time because I, just, I, I told them it was happening. They found out 
after the first time it happened and I made them a promise that if it happened again I would tell them and I did. That's one of the reasons I left the app for a while because they really encouraged me to leave the app for a while. My family have been so supportive of me. You know I've got a really supportive family and they understand why I want to do it. They understand that I'm trying to get the word out there and help other people. They know that. They know that's what I'm trying to do. And they also don't understand why people can be so horrible. And I hope that answers your question, Ali. James, thank you for that. Oh, crikey. Guys, can you do me a favour? Slow down with the comments because I'm way behind. Please do me a favour. Because of the... I'm going to say thank you for all the gifts coming in, guys. Thank you. It's just pushing all the comments out. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Um, Gail, again, if your comments are not coming through, Gail, it might be because you're using words that are in a blocked words list. My blocked words list is big because of all the hate. So you might be using a word that's in the blocked words list. I don't can't tell you what the blocked words are because there's too many of them. If it's not coming through, feel free to message me on TikTok and then I will see it. No, my parents are not on TikTok. No. People need to consider mental health. Yes, they do, Lucy X. Thank you, Chrissy. It takes nothing to be nice. No, it doesn't, Lucy X. I quite agree with you. Right, who's got another question for me? This is much more civilised. <laughs> hello, hello. That's a very good point, hello. But I'm going to say this. I'm not perfect. I have never actually claimed to be perfect. I have never claimed to have all the right answers. I know I don't. Uh, James, I agree with you. Um... TikTok really are only interested in earning money. Hey, Lucy X, yes. Thank you, Lucy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mia. I'm assuming you're watching. I know you're not a um, subscriber. Sarah, thank you for that message. Thank you, Sarah, if you're watching. Now... I'm not going to name this person and I'm trying to decide if I think this is genuine or not. I'm going to read it to you. I'm not naming them, okay? But I'm going to read this out to you and I'd like your opinion. It's somebody who's got 180 following. In other words, they're following 180 people and they've got 200 followers. Okay, and I do not recognise their username. Now, they might be a silent viewer. Okay, but I definitely do not recognise them. I'm going to read you the message and I'd like your immediate reaction. 
Hello, I've been a huge fan for a while now. I'm expecting my first child and I wanted to name it Annette after you. I wanted to know if that's okay with you. Thank you for all you do. Now, my immediate comment is that if that's a genuine message, then I couldn't be more privileged and honoured. That is such a nice thing for somebody to ask. And if that's genuine, then I feel honoured. But looking at their profile picture, I don't feel very like they're very genuine about it. I don't know because I genuinely don't know. Um, it's hard to tell, yes. If you are watching and um, you're here, please send me another message. You're very welcome to. Like I said, if you're genuine, then I couldn't be more honoured. I think honoured's the right word, is that right? Um, yeah, exactly, Lucy X. I, I don't know. Okay, they've sent me another message. Okay, I will take that. I will take that. Thank you. They've just said, I want to clarify, I am genuine. I am writing on a different account as my husband does not yet know. Sorry to be cryptic. Okay, again, I am not going to say your username, okay? Would you trust me enough to tell me your username that I would recognise you by? I absolutely swear publicly that I will not say anything. I will not say anything. But if you're prepared to tell me who your, what your user is that I would recognise you by, I would be honoured. I hope you understand why I'm asking that. And you know what, if, well, I'm gonna say you are genuine because, um, well, they're watching at the moment because they've messaged me as soon as I said to you that I, guys, I wasn't sure. I haven't replied, replied to them on the message. So I'm taking it as they are honest. I'm just very honored um, that they've said that, I really am. Thank you for these messages, guys. I've got some lovely messages here. I'm not going to read you all out, but some of these messages are lovely. Thank you, everybody. Ali, I just saw it. Yes. Thank you, Sarah. I just saw yours as well. Thank you, Sarah. Hi, Orca. Have you just subscribed, Orca, or you subscribed earlier? I think you were subscribed a couple of days ago, didn't you? Thank you, Sarah. M. Zara. Hello. I'm going to say this. I can't remember who you are. I've had a couple of people share photos with me now on Facebook and things, but I'm going to be honest and say I can't remember who you are. <laughs> I feel embarrassed. But if you want to remind me who you are, hello, then feel free to send me another message on Facebook or something so I, know, I, 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 I remember who you are. Thank you. So, again, I'm not going to use your 
alternative account because I'm not calling it a spy account because I don't believe you are a spy. Um, she sent me another message. She said, I watch you live. Um, I think... I thank you for your promise not to share, but I feel I want to stay anonymous. And that's absolutely fine. You've got no... Don't worry about that. Um, I'm certainly not going to block you. No, I'm not going to block you at all. Um, your brainstorming name ideas. You know what? That's absolutely fine. If you choose to use Annette as a first or middle name or anything... I would be honoured. I really, really would. And please let me know when you go public. I'd really be, really like to acknowledge it publicly with you. That would be fantastic. I'm assuming you know you're having a girl. I mean, you haven't said, but I'm assuming you already know you're having a girl, but you haven't actually said that. So I'm sort of assuming. Okay, I've just had a message that makes me feel I need to look at my comments more. Pitta, I'm just going to send you a screenshot. Thank you, Rosie Posey. You're welcome and thank you for subscribing. Uh, Pitta, I'm sending you a screenshot. Um, ask you to look at it. And see what you think. Is the move going? Yes, it's going well, um, James. So, um, my move at the moment is looking positive. Um, we are still hoping for a September completion. It's going to be towards the end of September, I know that, but we're still helping, hoping for an end of sep a, a, a late September completion. And um, what more can I say? Um, yeah. Uh, does that answer the question, James? Um, thank you, Rosie Posey. We are night owls, Lara, yes. Although when I move, I am planning to try and get back to a more normal time scale because I want to be able to do things like going to church. I want to try and be able to go out for coffee with people. I'm looking forward to making new friends in person with people as well as at a distance on TikTok. Oh. Pitta, I'm assuming that was you setting up a poll. <laughs> Very funny. So, Don, I do have a couple of friends near where I'm moving to. I'm not saying who. I do have a couple of friends very near where I'm moving to. Um, who are certainly within car drive and taxi ride distance. Um, I found a church that I'm looking forward to going to fairly regularly. There are also some more churches I want to try as well. Um, there's at least three or four churches that I'm looking at. Um, okay, Pitta. There are at least three or four churches that I'm looking at going to at different times. The thing about an area with lots of different churches and lots of different choices, um, it means that um, I have choices as to... Um, I have choices as to where I go. So 
So Madison, if you're in the live, I've sent you a message back. Madison, if you're in the live watching, I've sent you a message back. Um, those people, who, somebody just sent me a message saying I can't afford to subscribe. You are very welcome to be here. You do not need to subscribe to watch, okay? The only reason I've turned the subscriber only chat on is to stop all of the bullying and the hate. And we're just trying to have a calmer chat. Pitta, I refer to myself as a Christian and that's it. I don't see myself as any denomination. I am simply and foremost a Christian. I'm not quite sure how to help you with that. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Thank you, Alexa. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? <laughs> that was so funny. Rosy posy, so am I. That's why I say I am a Christian for, first and foremost. I don't worry about denominations and things. Thank you, Dylan, for the lovely message I've just received. Thank you. Gab, thank you so much for the lovely message I've just received from you. Emily, thank you very much. Thank you, Saggy. And that's genuinely somebody's username, Saggy. User, thank you. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. I'm not reading all the messages. I'm just reading those few. Um... Right, I'm now focusing on this here. Right. Jodie, thank you, yeah. Meditation doesn't work for me very much, Zara, no. Thank you, Rosie. No Christmas shows, Lara, but I do have two shows booked. One in... September or is it October hold on I'll double check I can't remember if it's September or October bear with me a second I will tell you if it's September or October because I can't remember It's October. So one in October and the other one's in November, yes. So one, um, the uh, late November, one late November and one mid-October. Two music shows to go to. So two concerts to go to and I'm looking forward to both of them. And they're already prepaid for and have been booked for ages, both of them. They're not local and they're not going to be local to where I'm moving to either. But they're the nearest. Uh, they both happen to be at the same venue. And it's the nearest venue to where I'm moving to the they're going to. Actually, it's the nearest venue to here that they're going to as well. So, <laughs> And no, it's not here in Aylesbury. I'm actually very surprised where they're going because it's not a very big venue. <sighs> I 
Uh, Pitta, I'm just sending you a message. Right, who's got another question for me? Subscribers, who's got who 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 has got another question for me? No, I'm not redoing my hair, Gail. I'm trying to wash the purple out. And if at some point I will go and get the West West the rest of it removed and have my hair um colour corrected back to a normal colour. I had a mad five minutes the other day. I almost cut it all off. Yeah. I had a mad five minutes and I nearly cut my hair off. Literally, I nearly cut it off. So, yeah, my anxiety got the better of me something chronic the other evening. And I needed to do something and I so nearly cut my hair off. Yes, B, exactly. Um, I've done it before and regretted it. Um, but the other evening I was so stressed. This is what I mean by when my stress and anxiety are high, I need, I'm better talking to people, I'm better spending time with people. Because although my anxiety is high because of what's going on up here, um, I'm better when I'm with people, if that makes sense. Salacious. So I have tried some Lush products. I can no longer use the bath bombs because they irritate my skin too much. So I can't use Lush products like that, like bath bombs anymore. I have tried the face masks. I don't like them very much. I don't know why. Um, there is a very nice boots face mask that I've got and I really like it and yeah Peter why are you saying teddy bear not got I don't understand Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, hug a teddy bear. Yeah, no, I'm all right. I'm all right at the moment. Is that what Payden's telling me? Hug a teddy bear. Thank you, Payden. All right. Who's got another... Who's got another comment for me, question for me? Thank you, Rosie. It's basically the last couple of days catching up with me. And I know it's not going to end. I know it's going to carry on tomorrow. I know people are... I mean, you only have to look what EQ was saying. And the fact that EQ sent somebody over to screen record, you know that she's going to carry it on other people are going to carry it on so slaylicious yeah i'm doing one of them right now slaylicious by talking calmly with you guys on sub only i know i've got 700 odd people watching but i feel like i'm having a conversation just with you guys now, Pitta, 
will confirm this. Um, how many midnight 3am phone calls have we had, Pitta? If you'd like to confirm roughly how many midnight to 3am phone calls we've had. And I'm in UK time, guys. Hey, Luna. You came over to check the dinner plate was empty. There you go. But I've got something for you here that you didn't finish earlier. <gasps> What's this? Oh, poo down my back first, then, if you must. Charming. She comes out of her cage, and the first thing she does is poos on my back. The Observer, providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.